Perhaps you recently found yourself wondering if you are really correctly typed as an INFP, or perhaps you are another type entirely. How do you know for sure? Many approach personality type as if they are trying to fit themselves completely inside one of the 16 personalities. And it's understandable that you try to do so because the MBTI teaches that personality type is fixed. And most people online will talk about personality type in a very stereotypical and absolute manner. All INFJs tend to be outgoing. All INFPs tend to be shy and introverted. All INFPs tend to be very messy or so on and so forth. So perhaps if you don't really conform to these stereotypes, it's easy to question yourself. But what if that's not the point at all? Carl Jung believed that personality types could be used for self-actualization and to find yourself. Perhaps we've been using personality types all wrong. In the last video that I made, I talked about how I'm coming to abandon the traditional approach to the Myers-Briggs type indicator. And I'm starting to get rid of the notion of a fixed, absolute or static personality type altogether. And you've seen me make strides in this direction over the past decade. You've seen me talk about subtypes, you've seen me talk about variations and variability within type. So this is where I've been headed all along to the idea that perhaps we can create our own personality type. Perhaps you are not meant to fit within any of the 16 personality types. Perhaps you are meant to invent the 17th personality type, whatever that is. So how can we do that? What I'd suggest is look at the MBTI and the 16 personalities and the cognitive functions as a character creation screen. See the sliders from introverted to very extroverted to ambiverted. See the sliders from intuitive to sensor. See the sliders from introverted intuition and extroverted sensing and see how they shift by making subtle changes in any specific direction. And notice that you can change your behavior. Notice that you can learn to be more outgoing. And notice that if you learn to be more outgoing, you're going to use your extroverted functions more than you ever did before. And notice that you can learn to be more proactive and that this too will cause a shift on which kind of functions that you use and how you work. Try to think about what kind of personality you would like to have in the sense of who would you love to be? Who is your ideal version of yourself? What kind of people inspire you? And who are you at your very best? The metric of flow is key to changing yourself. You don't want to change yourself to conform or fit in or be what everyone else wants you to be. You want to change yourself in the sense that you want to discover the parts of yourself that you didn't know existed. Because the truth is a part of you is unwritten. A part of you you haven't really found yet. So there is a part of you, a version of you, a parallel dimension you, which has a set of interests and hobbies and passions that you don't even know about at the moment. And if you consider it like that, well then personality change isn't something inauthentic. It's just discovering your best fit personality type. So when we talk about a best fit personality type, what we're talking about is the version of you that makes you the happiest. The, person, the version of you that gives you, that puts you in a state of flow. So whenever you make a change in your personality or adjust the sliders gently or change your habits or start up new interests or explore a new passion or possibility, think about this. Did it make you happy? Did it make you feel better about yourself? Did it bring you more comfort or opportunities or success? Did it make you feel more in touch with yourself? Did it make you feel like you found something beautiful in yourself that you didn't know you had in you? Well, if it did make you feel good, well then maybe that's really who you were meant to be all along. You just didn't know it yet. All of these changes that I've been making lately have made me realize that I'm going to have to revamp a lot of my content online. And if you wanna be the first person to learn about these changes and to explore these things, I recommend you become a patron at patreon.com slash Dorr. There you can try my self-discovery tool, a create your character, character creation sheet. And there you can ask questions about my new changes and updates and yeah, 
learn more about yourself, the best version of yourself.